right, guys, we're back. This time, uh, Katie Rouse, am I saying it correctly? Katie Rouse. Right, Katie Rouse. And she is a swimmer at Mars Park, and you just told me you swim like 9,000 events. So tell everybody what you swim. <laughs> I'm swimming at South Mech, actually. Um, but I swim the 200 free, 500 free, 1,000 free, and like 200 backstroke, and sometimes some IM. So wow. <laughs> I, I can do a lot of them. What's your favorite event? Well, long course, it would probably be two back, but short course, which is what we're in now, mm -hmm. it's probably the 200 or 500 freestyle. And what would you say is your best event? Mm. Short course, probably the 500 freestyle, uh -huh. but long course, definitely the 200 back show. Now, last year, Coach was telling me you finished second in the state. Right. And what event was that in? That was the 500 freestyle. And who won that event? Um, Ellie Marquardt. I ah, used to swim with her on so we Ellie, Yeah, we had Ellie in the car last year. Right. Yeah, she's, uh, she was the best in the nation, I get it, at one point. Yes. Year, so you did, that was not chopped liver you lost again. No. Yeah, I got second in the two free end. But given that, and you guys were close, you told me. Yes, sir. So given that, you must be the favorite going into this year. Hopefully, that is <laughs> what we're looking at, yes, for two free and five free. Yeah. How, how do you train? Training, we do six practices a week. We don't do doubles, so we don't have practice in the morning. Six practices. Six practices a week. Over wow. summer, we do nine. Wow. But just during the school year, we do six. Um, we train two hours each day, mm -hmm. and then we have dry land three times a week for 45 minutes. What is that? We do a lot of, we don't weight lift yet, so mm -hmm. we're not doing that until college. So we do a lot of like abs and core and um, like pull ups and a lot of just like body weight training. Why no weights? It's, I don't know. My coach just, we've never really done it on our team. And it's also nice for colleges going into college, like seeing that you haven't weight lifted because they know you can make you a lot stronger and a lot okay. faster. Okay. So. okay. I would think maybe the person who was weight lift would have some advantage. You know? Yeah, they would. They get, they're a lot stronger than we are. Like I know I could get a lot stronger than I am now, but. Right. Hopefully that time will come when I go to college and that's I can a lot get like of practicing a That's a lot of practicing during the week too. Yeah, it is. You gotta be dedicated. Very. What are you giving up to do all of that? You're not going to the mall, going to the party. What are you giving up? Yeah, swimming, it's not just like you can walk into practice and then start focusing on swimming. It's mm -hmm. everything in your life has to revolve around it. What you eat, <laughs> what you sleep, like how much you sleep. Okay, like, stop, stop, stop. What, what do you eat? What do you have to not eat to be a, an elite swimmer like yourself? It's not what you don't have to eat it's how much you have to eat you have oh to, i have to eat more right you okay well tell me about that eating. I, I like to eat i right. can't but it all shows so i can't eat right well <clears throat> just to have the endurance i know when i skip a meal or don't eat enough mm -hmm. i feel absolutely horrible when i'm in the how pool. many calories a day are you eating just make, make me feel really bad how many calories a day probably about three thousand okay. thirty five hundred but i know i should probably be eating, eating a little more. bit more that's yeah. what my coach tells me so what's the typical, you eat six times a day? I mean, what's the kind of typical day for you eating was? I never, I'm, I'm really curious, you got me curious. Right. I never go a day without eating breakfast. So I wake up and I have three eggs every morning. Okay. My I my family doesn't eat like red meat or anything. So we eat a lot of eggs. Okay. So I wake so up. wake up the protein. Right, protein okay. for sure. That's like what I eat the most. All right. And then for school, I'll usually pack like a sandwich and then I eat a lot of these bars called RX bars, which mm -hmm. have three yeah. egg whites in them. So I eat those, <laughs> eat eggs. right? And then I go home and I try to get some protein in before practice. And what would that be? some carbs. Anything from like, like maybe like leftovers from dinner, like pasta or anything with like chicken or anything. And then I come home and I try to eat a big dinner. So it's not like you're eating Snicker bars out there. No. <clears throat> so it's not junk food. It's not like McDonald's or even Chick-fil-A or things no. like that. I mean, you can. My coach definitely is not restricting us from any foods that we want to eat. So tell me, where you want to, where, where you want to go with the swimming? I know you want to go to college. I'm assuming. Right. And you, you were an Olympic trial qualifier. Yeah. Last year. I got it at summer juniors last year. Last year. Okay. So what does that do for you now? Well, I obviously am able to go to Omaha for Olympic trials now, which will be yeah, that will be really really cool, a great experience. Um, summer juniors was a really great experience for me. I had a really great meet. It was a did lot of fun. Did you swim like your life best times? I did. Yeah. I did in my 200 backstroke. I had some ups and downs at me, which is mm -hmm. always good, mm -hmm. a learning experience, because summer juniors is a whole new 
like experience. It was a whole new experience for me. It's really so, intimidating. So is that like all the best swimmers in your age group come together? It's every swimmer with um, a summer junior cut. Okay. 18 so and under based. in the nation. Okay. So the best of the best. Right. <laughs> For 18 and under. And, and what, how hot, what did you have to finish to make the cut? I got fourth. Fourth. Pretty impressive. Thank you. Are you nervous about going to the trials? No, I think it'll be a really great experience. It's obviously, there's going to be so many professionals there. So like making the Olympics isn't really on my mind now. I think it's just more about like swimming a best time for me and like experiencing the whole Olympic trials arena and everything will be really cool. Yeah. And what if you made the team? That's very unlikely, but that would be awesome. Hey, lightning can strike. Right. You never know. Would you, would you uh, leave school for a little while? With dad, with dad, with dad. Yeah, I don't know. I never really Your thought dad's about a big that. Dude, man. Yeah, I've always just thought of my swimming career as going to college and swimming through college, and Absolutely. then just doing the best I can. There. You just never know. Tell me about college. Where are you uh, looking at for college? I'm looking at a lot of places. I'm thinking about um, UNC, which is where my brother goes and he swims. So okay. What's his name? Jacob Ralph. Okay. And then I went to Auburn. <clears throat> Went to Auburn and I'm going to Virginia Tech and Georgia and possibly Indiana and maybe NC State. So that's, a that's a lot of really good choices. Thank you. <laughs> that's not, not bad. Thank you. What are you hoping for this year? Obviously, you want to get state championships, but do you have any other goals as you go along in the year? Well, for South Mac, yeah. I, know, I know the team is going to be really good. Right. For South Mac, um, it definitely the state championships would be great. I got second in both my events last year, but mm -hmm. both of those previous um, girls who had won are both in college this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll be able to get first. That would be a great experience. And our team, we lost a couple of our um, good swimmers. I know Ellie is gone and Reagan is gone. So hopefully we can all just step up and try to do the best we can as a team. What would be the perfect season for you? High school season. So starting November and ending February, what, 12th, 14th? Right. Like time wise? No, just uh, accomplishment wise. What would be the perfect season? Well, I feel like the best accomplishment you can really get through high school swimming would be a state champion. So, but the dual meets. It no, no, getting multiple. Getting multiple <laughs> state championships. You are right. You are right. Um, we never had a relay win for South Mech that I've ever been on. We got really close. We got second one year. Okay. So trying to get our relays top three would be a really great um, goal for us. And then just the dual meets. Um, going undefeated would be really cool. Yeah. Just so many notes. Is that possible? Yeah. It is. Um, I sometimes Coach Barons needs us in things that, like, needs me in things that I don't always swim. Oh, so so she'll put me in something that I won't be doing at states. Right. But hopefully, just anything I swim, I can try to. Who's the biggest competition in conference and in the city? Well, last year it was actually my own teammate Ellie. Um, she was my biggest competition. But this year, I don't know. I have a lot of people that I swim with that are really great swimmers, but. What about team-wise? Who's going to be the biggest teams that you guys have to deal with? You know, it's going to block your path to a potential team state chat title. Right. Last year, for girls, it was Huff. They're really great. They've been great. good forever. They've been good. They won like 13 in a row. So I know. It's like crazy at one point. And Myers Park has been really great. They've gotten really good. So, But hopefully South Bank this will be year. great next. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you so I'm much. Sorry for we got me. sort of lost. No, you're <laughs> Best of luck. You too. Win state. Do well trials. Thank you. All right, take care. You too.